What's up you guys? Welcome to my bathroom. I have filmed in here a few times, but most times y'all see me in my beauty room and that's where I spend most of my time. Most of my effort goes there when it comes to like organization and declutters and all that. But the time has come. This bathroom needs to be decluttered. In my bathroom, I keep most of my hair products and some skincare stuff too. My beauty room is where I keep a lot of other skincare stuff and like my makeup and stuff, but this has not been decluttered in a very long time and it's necessary. You guys are seeing my husband's like clean side behind me. My side's over here. It's essentially the same thing. But on either side of my vanity, I have big cabinets that are filled to the gills with products. These are what I'm talking about. I have one on each side of my vanity that we need to go through and declutter. I know y'all love my declutters and it helps to keep me accountable, to keep me nice and organized. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. If you guys are new to my declutters, I will keep anything that I wanna keep if something is in donatable condition, which honestly most of this stuff should be. There's probably gonna be a lot of stuff that is not heavily used, which I will go ahead and donate. And then anything that's like old, expired, half empty, which I am definitely a culprit of putting things that have like the smallest little amount left back in there and then they get pushed towards the back and then it's just a whole shelf filled with empties. So those obviously will toss. But without further ado, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you have not already and click the little bell right next to the subscribe button so you can be notified of all my future uploads and let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's start with this first shelf that is overflowing. A lot of the products that I use frequently are more towards the front. So it might seem like I'm not getting rid of a lot of them first, but I know as we get back there, Stuff's gotta go. So right up first, I have this Moroccan oil hairspray. I'm gonna keep this, I really like it. Also definitely keeping both of these leave-ins. I have a lot of Moroccan oil products here. This mending infusion, honestly, I don't ever use this, so I'm gonna go ahead and donate it. I also don't tend to use this hydrating styling cream either, so this is gonna get donated. But I do use these treatments all the time, so I'm gonna keep both of these. They're the light version, so it works better on lighter hair, so I'm gonna keep them. This Playa hair oil, I haven't gotten the chance to try, so I'm gonna go ahead and donate. These I'm gonna toss. I've had them for quite some time, especially this center one. I feel like they're definitely expired at this point, so I'm gonna toss these. These three products, I love all of them, so I'm gonna keep them. This is a heat protectant spray. I go through heat shields like crazy, so this I'm gonna keep. I've also really been wanting to try this brand, so I'm gonna keep this so I can try it out. It's a hair oil. These three I'm gonna keep. This is a volumizing spray. These are leave-ins, one for blow drying and one for the air dry, which I really, really like because most leave-ins are meant to use before blow drying, but this one's specifically made for air drying, so I like it. These I'm gonna go ahead and donate, and I'm also gonna donate all of these, some agave products and some Caritasse products. I think I'm probably mispronouncing this brand, but... <laughs> Carrot toss maybe? Gonna donate. Another heat spray, which I'm gonna keep. Like I said, I go through these so fast. Gonna keep these leave-ins and I'm gonna donate these. I have two of these fat hair thickening sprays, so I'm gonna keep one and donate one. I'm gonna keep these ones. Gonna keep this blowout spray and donate this leave-in milk. I have two of these volumizing detanglers, so I'm gonna keep one and donate one. And these few left in the back here are all gonna get donated. All right, we got a nice clean shelf now. Most of the stuff on here was leave-in sprays, so that's what I wanna make this shelf. And then as we move down, any other leave-in sprays that I'm gonna keep, I'll put here. And we can put like hairspray, those sorts of products down below. So first I'm gonna do more leave-in sprays like this. Then I'll do some hair oils. And then some detanglers. Forgot about this little hair oil that I've been wanting to try. I'm gonna put it in the front so I remember to try it. And then I will do more blowout volumizing mists and thickening sprays. And it looks much more organized. We have all this space in case we wanna add anything else. I could definitely spread it out, but for right now, I'm gonna leave it like this. I do have this scalp oil that I'm gonna add here too. I like to use this to cleanse my scalp. I have this one too from another shelf, so I'm gonna put this behind. So everything's in one place. So these are mostly products I would use on wet hair. Now we're gonna go down to the products that I will use on my dry hair. You guys probably can't tell, but this shelf is supposed to be like dry shampoos, texture sprays, etc. But then a lot of other products ended up making it on here. Like I have a leave-in that I really like because so I couldn't fit it on the shelf above. So I'm gonna move this to the shelf above. This is the Color Wow Raise the Root. I just spray this with my Dan Pear, also gonna move it to the shelf above, as well as these leave-in reparative products. This is one of my favorite heat protectant sprays. I'm gonna keep this. One of my favorite hairsprays of all time, but I have literally none left, so this I'm gonna toss. Same thing with this dry texture spray. There's like none left, but I do have another one, so I'm gonna keep the full one. Also gonna keep this heat protectant. I'm gonna keep both of these hairsprays, and I'm gonna donate all these products. This I'm gonna keep. I have two of these exact same products, so I'm gonna keep one and donate one. All right, we're gonna take a quick break from decluttering to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is better help. Decluttering and organizing for me is something that has always been therapeutic, but it is obviously not a replacement for actual therapy. One of my best friends is actually a therapist and she helps really break down
out, I think, a lot of the stigmas that I had because I was uneducated about therapy and basically taught me the importance of prioritizing your mental health. And I feel as though therapy can help you be the best version of yourself, which is obviously what we all want, but I know therapy sometimes can be easier said than done. BetterHelp makes talking to a therapist easier than ever because their mission is to make therapy more affordable and accessible. It's online and it's remote, so you don't even have to leave your house. You just fill out a couple questions online and BetterHelp will help match you with a professional therapist in just a few days. If the therapist that you're matched with doesn't quite fit, you can switch for free. You don't have to stress about insurance, who's in your network and all that kind of stuff. And it's super easy to sign up and get matched with a therapist. There's a link in my description. It's betterhelp.com slash Kelly Strack. And that'll get you 10% off of your first month of BetterHelp so you can connect with a therapist and see if it's helpful to you. So that'll be linked down below in the description box if you wanna check it out. I have used these hair serums for years. They're curl perfecting serums. I used to always buy them at Harman, which is similar to like a drugstore, but they give so much bounce and definition to your curls. They're both like half empty. I am gonna keep them because I do really love to use these. I might try and combine them into one container, but I think they might not fit right now, but I'm gonna keep them both. I'm gonna keep this texture spray and donate this one. I also see a razor down here. This is what happens when you don't declutter for a long time. So this I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep these hairsprays and dry shampoos and donate all of these. Gonna keep these hairsprays. They're some of my favorites from the drugstore. And I obviously have to keep this one too. They sent this to me like personalized with the crystals. How pretty is that? These I'm gonna donate. And these last two I'm gonna keep. These shelves have gotten so dirty. So I'm cleaning them off in between each one. Okay, so this shelf is mostly hairsprays and texture sprays. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna kind of organize them by the taller bottles in the back and then bring the shorter bottles towards the front so they're easy to access. Over here, I'm gonna do my texture sprays and I'm gonna put my heat sprays in the front because I do use these every day when doing my hair so I have easy access to them and I'm gonna put my little curl definers right there. All right, looks much more organized. Now let's move on down to here. All right, we've made it down here. This is overflow. And a lot of these are actually like new products that I just put in here that I wanted to try. Like this specifically, I literally just added the other day. It's a heat primer. I also love this volumizing hairspray. This is from Goldwell. It's kind of expensive, like for a hairspray. I think it's like 20 or so bucks. I get one on Amazon, but it's really good. So this I'm gonna keep. Both of these are products I use all the time. I'm gonna keep both. I'm gonna go ahead and donate all of these. I'm gonna keep these ones. I have two of these, so I'm gonna keep one and donate one. I'm also gonna donate all these dry shampoos. As you can tell, I have a lot of dry shampoos, but I don't wash my hair every day, so I need them, but I don't need all of these. So gonna donate them. Gonna keep these four right here in the front. These I'm gonna donate. Static Guard, I have to keep, especially in the winter, my hair gets really staticky. I don't notice it as much in the summer, but I sprayed this in my hair more than you'd think. This definitely has to stay. I'm gonna keep these heat protectant sprays. Gonna donate all these dry shampoos. Gonna keep these four. I have another one of these curl creams. I feel like I don't need this, so I'm gonna go ahead and donate it. I'm gonna keep these two little minis and then donate these. All right, we're gonna start with my static spray towards the front, like I said, because I use this more than you'd think. Then adding in my dry shampoos. Again, trying to put some of the taller ones towards the back. This is technically a texture spray, so I'm gonna put it up on that other shelf. And also this leave-in, I'm gonna put up on the first shelf so we can organize it up there with the other leave -ins. I'm gonna do a volumizer and then the heat sprays. and we are good and organized a lot better than we were before. Okay, these shelves are looking so much better, so much more organized, I love it. Moving over to the other side, this is my little self tan layer right now. I've decolored this not that long ago, but obviously it's already packed to the gills again, so we need to go through because I don't need all these products. First, we have the Loving Tan Two Hour Express. I do like this if I'm running short on time. It doesn't give as dark of a tan as the original, but again, only takes two hours to develop, so I'm gonna keep this. This Bondi Sands Arrow is my personal favorite right now. This one is almost empty. So I actually just ordered another one. I have another one back here that is literally basically empty too, but I am gonna keep them both till my new one arrives. And I do have the One Hour Arrow foam from them too that I'm gonna keep in case I'm short on time. I have a few of these tart shape tape, like waterproof body makeups. I use them from time to time, but really not very frequently. I have medium and medium tan. I'm just gonna keep shade medium and I'll go ahead and get rid of this medium tan. I feel like it's really dirty, so I don't wanna donate it, but I don't use it all that often. I've been wanting to try this Coco and Eve and I haven't got a chance to yet, so I'm gonna keep this. I have a lot of these gradual tans from Loving Tan. I do not need all of these. So I'll probably keep one. I'll just keep this one in dark and the rest of these back here can all get donated. I have a few sprays. I don't need both of these. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this L'Oreal one. I'll keep this St. Tropez one 
sometimes I like the sprays like from my hands. So I'll keep it for that. I have this deluxe face tan, which honestly nine times out of 10, I don't even tan my face. So I'm probably just gonna get rid of this one. And then I have an unused self tanning foam and another everyday gradual. I am gonna keep both of these. Like I said, I do really like Bondi Sands products recently. So I'm gonna keep them. And then I have about 7,000 mitts. I have some brushes. If I ever do apply to like my face or on my hands, a lot of times I'll use brushes. So I'm gonna keep both of these brushes. I do switch out my mitts frequently, but like no one in their right mind needs this many mitts. So well, let's think about this. All these ones just laying on top are quite old. So I'm gonna toss them. I have another brush, which I don't really use this one that much. So I'm gonna get rid of it. And all of these boxes of self tanning mitts from Loving Tan. I don't know if I can donate these, but I'm going to try to. I'll probably keep like, I don't know, four, and then I'm gonna try and donate the rest of them because I certainly do not need all of these. You guys can see how dirty this got from the self tanner. Oh my goodness. And then we have some more back here. I don't think these ones were ever used. The one that's still in the packaging, I will attempt to donate. The ones that are just kind of loose, I'm probably just gonna get rid of. Just in case I did use them at some point, I don't feel comfortable donating. Gonna try and clean this shelf as best as I can. This is so gross. All right, it does look quite a bit better. Let's try and reorganize. Do our mitts and brushes on this side. We'll do our gradual products towards the back. Our mousses and a spray. We'll do the shorter, like one hour tans here and then the overnight tanners here. Almost forgot about this one too. And we're looking much better. I still have to clean the roof there. I will do that. Okay, now for this last shelf that we're gonna go through, this is filled with all different sheet masks. I like sheet masks, but nobody needs this many. So we need to go through. On top, I have a lot of these little like headband things that I use to keep my hair back when I'm washing my face, doing my skincare routine, whatever. Um, do I need all of these? Probably not. I tend to use the headband ones more. So I'll keep these and get rid of these ones. And let's just dive into these masks. So on top, I see these peace out pore strips. I haven't used them. So I'm gonna go ahead and donate them to somebody to get better use. I do like these redness masks from Zit Sticka. So I'm gonna keep both of these. This is like a targeted extraction one. This is a redness one. I'm gonna keep them. These Wander Beauty eye masks are my favorite. They're like gold. They look so cute. I think I have a couple more over here. So let me grab them. These I do use a lot. I like to use them on planes. Also these ones from Tarte, like before a big event or something, I do use these and they are one-time use. So I am gonna keep these ones. You'll see with this, like many of my other ones, some of the most used ones are on top. So like this Lancome mask, this is one of my favorite sheet masks of all time. I am gonna keep this. And I'm gonna keep these Peter Thomas Roth under eye patches. I'm gonna donate this clay mask. I'm also gonna go ahead and donate all of these sheet masks. I'm gonna keep these Tatcha ones. I really like these, the Luminous Dewy ones. These I'm gonna keep. I see a few more of the Lancome ones as well, which I'm gonna keep because these are honestly the ones that I mostly reach for. So all the other ones can pretty much get donated. And the Wander ones, I will keep too. Gonna go ahead and donate these ones. Gonna donate these. Pretty much all of these masks, I will go ahead and donate. Gonna keep these little Tarte under eye masks. This whole stack is gonna get donated. This one I wanna keep. This is from Erno Laszlo. I probably mispronouncing that, but it's a Soothe and Calm Hydrogel Mask. I'm gonna keep it and I'm gonna donate all of these ones. I'm gonna go ahead and donate all of these masks. I'm gonna keep this one because it's a neck mask, which I don't have many of, so I wanna try this out. I'm not sure what this is, let's see. Oh, they're little reusable cotton rounds. I actually do really like these, so I'm gonna keep them. And all the rest of the masks in this drawer are gonna get donated, so I'm gonna just take this out, let the ones behind fall, and we can go through them. I have a bunch of these gold Pure mask, I'm gonna donate. I also have this gold one, which I haven't tried that I'm gonna donate. Gonna donate these Pixie Glycolics and these mask sets. Let's go through these. I haven't gotten a chance to try many of these star skin ones, so I'm gonna keep these ones. And these are a few more that I have from them as well that I'm gonna keep. Gonna keep these Pack Your Bag eye masks from Tarte. And I'm gonna go ahead and donate this one from Star Skin. I just wanted to show you guys these. I have a bunch of them that I'm gonna be donating, but these are like animal masks. And when you put them on your face, they actually look like the animal. If you could see, they're really cute if you have like maybe a young kid that wants to try it, like a young girl, a little cute spa night or something, because they're really fun. So I'm gonna go ahead and donate them, but just wanted to show you, they're so cute if you see how they all look different on the face. Okay, gonna put the clear bin back in because that's helpful to organize. I'm gonna place some of the bigger masks standing up. And then over here, I'm placing all of the eye masks. Then I'm gonna put the full face mask that I use frequently in the front there. Can't forget the neck mask either. Gonna slip it in. Some more little eye masks, my reusable cotton rounds, and my little headbands can go on top there. And we look much more organized now. All right, you guys, so that was everything for today. We can definitely do more of these declutters if it's something that you like. This is the first time that I've done like a declutter that's not really makeup. So let me know if you guys like that. Thank you guys so 
so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.